Nolajun here at Turkey and the Wolf. Good stuff in here. Yeah. Welcome to Nolajun. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Travel Vlog, we're on a best burger search as we visit Turkey and the Wolf, which got started back in 2016 and quickly became a popular joint. Turkey and the Wolf is located in New Orleans Irish Channel neighborhood at 739 Jackson Avenue, which is about 12 minutes and two and a half miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. This sandwich joint has become noted for their interesting variety of sandwiches and burgers, which they offer along with some interesting sides that are not what you typically find in most burger and sandwich spots. So this is my first visit here. Although I've had it on my mind to pay a visit here for quite a while, they do have a nice patio here on the outside. And then they also have a chalkboard menu here on the outside along with paper menus on the inside we'll check out here in a minute. Now let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. The last time I was here, this was a barbecue joint that I really liked a lot. So it's definitely different from then. They do have a lot of swag here with all kinds of t-shirts and other things you might want for your souvenir experience. So uh, certainly you can grab your Turkey and the Wolf souvenir here. You order here in the front and then you get to get your food brought out to your table. So let's check out this menu now. So we have sandwiches with ham, fried bologna, collard green melt, Mama tried burger, vegan chicken sandwich, then not sandwiches, crinkle cut fries, wedge salad, cabbage salad, hogs, head cheese tacos, and fried pot pie. On the other side of the menu, we have beverages with a selection of three different wines, some liquor bevs with a frozen margarita, bourbon and Coke, G and T, tequila, soda with lime, clarified milk punch, Patagonico, a beer and shot combo. Then we have some beers with a PBR Tall Boy, a Coors Banquet, a Juice for IPA, Cucumber Lime, Goose, Paradise Park Lager, and then they have Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, Dr. Pepper, and iced tea. So waiting in line to get my order in, certainly have my brain working, and then they have a lot of interesting stuff in their back kitchen. Looks like they cook some fresh bread there. And here we are going to finally pay for my order. And I gotta say, the menus here have never really inspired me that much, so I just went with the burger and the cabbage salad. So the total for my order was $22.81 with tip. So Turkey and the Wolf certainly get some points for eclectic design, and they have a lot of interesting stuff all over the place. They've got a quilt right there, and then, you know, they've got all kinds of kitschy, artistic stuff all over the place. And even for your order, I got this leopard shark right here to be my indicator of where my order goes to. And then I light my salt and pepper shakers on these Hot Wheels cars. That's kind of a cool little addition. So, finally my burger is here, and it's on a McDonald's plate. So the Mama Tri Burger is two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, and tomatoes, all on a nut sesame seed bun. Then I got the side cabbage salad, which is roasted chili and coconut vinaigrette, lime and herbs for days, sunflower seeds, fried garlic, and then I missed seeing it had pig ear crackling, which, yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> So Turkey and the Wolf has gotten quite a lot of big accolades from many different places. So this burger is uh, good. I've uh, certainly had better burgers though. Fortunately, it doesn't taste like a McDonald's burger, which from the menu description, it sounded like maybe they were shooting for a little bit of that. And uh, you know, just kind of looking around who the people are eating in here, I kind of get the feeling I'm not their target demographic as it seems there's a whole lot of tourists in here. It definitely is far more of a hipsterish and groovy kind of people crowd. And I'm, uh, you know, I'm just plain old knowledge and I don't have any extra grooviness in me except when, uh, you know, there's disco going on and then, hey, I'm very groovy. But uh, my day-to-day -day life is too, like, freaking hot in New Orleans to be all the way grooved up in the middle of freaking hot summertime. So I'm just trying to stay as cool and calm like a cucumber as possible as I put all my energy, focus, 
and uh, taking down this burger uh, as easily and efficiently as possible because, hey, you know, there's got a uh, lot of work to be done here. This is uh, not an easy thing getting through this double burger patty with all of these things here. No, the structural integrity is actually pretty darn good and uh, there is actually some bigger pieces of lettuce uh, that has been used in this burger construction that usually would indicate some danger for slipping and sliding. But I have to say so far, structural integrity is very excellent with this burger. The uh, meat has some decent juicy flavors. It's two patties of thinner meat, so it's not that super beefy delicious goodness that some burgers have. It's a decent level of beefy goodness. And there's a bit of juiciness even to it, so the flavors pretty much are going together pretty darn good. So there are some good flavors. It's overall a pleasant burger to eat. It's staying together very nicely. So ultimately, it is a pretty nice burger overall to take in your hand as it stays together and you're able to bite into it with, oh, right, when I was saying how good it was, a big piece of lettuce falls off of it, of course. But generally speaking, it uh, had a good meat bun ratio for the most part until uh, right here where I've gotten a little bit more bun than meat. So we did fall a little bit short on bun meat ratio, but overall it's pretty decent. So just like I totally destroyed this burger, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know what you thought about this burger. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon accounts. I do work for tips, so I appreciate any help with that. Okay, here goes the cabbage salad with a roasted chili and coconut vinaigrette, lime and herbs for day, sunflower seeds, fried garlic, and the bigger crackling. This is just a huge pile of mess. I was kind of just thinking I was getting a basic side of coleslaw. I wasn't planning on all of this. I mean, wow, uh, this is a whole lot of uh, stuff. All kinds of things going on. This is uh, not not my favorite tasting thing, I have to say. Ah. Uh, it does have some uh, chili spice heat to it, and sunflower seeds kind of give it a lot of flavor. I gotta say though, it mostly tastes like dirt. I'm getting mostly just a very strong flavor of dirt. Uh, I don't know if the cabbage maybe wasn't washed all the way, something maybe wasn't washed all the way. Maybe my taste buds are off, I don't know. It just kind of tastes like dirt with some chili spice. So, spicy dirt with some cabbage crunch. No, I didn't like it. I'm gonna give this a thumbs down. So just like I've totally said no to this, go ahead and say yes to destroying that subscribe button and giving this video a thumbs up, but a no to this cabbage salad. So thanks so much to everybody at Turkey and the Wolf for the burger. Uh, the rest of the stuff, not, not so sure of. Not really my kind of menu in so many ways. Hey, uh, everybody's taste buds are different. Give it a try yourself, see if you like it. Uh, for myself, I, I think maybe I'm gonna opt out of a future uh, attempt of things there. So, uh, thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Dole Jet channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you would just take a moment to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolan Jen here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.